all enjoying Act 2 so far. How about you, Gun Control? Are you still here? Your girlfriend just said you're not allowed to talk anymore. He seems like a smart man, too. You can't get gun control, settle for self-control, right? <laughs> My favorite part of this whole thing is that who knows what side we're on? That's just smart talking right there. I was right in the middle before the show. Would anybody like a copy of Act One? Not like a recording, just like a piece of paper that says the songs on it that we did. Just some strong tape. Pull on me, would you? I think my, I think Dawn's working on for it too. I thought about it and recoiled. All right, who won? I wouldn't pay attention. I saw your hand first. Feeling your show tonight. No, so I don't know if anybody else noticed, but right whenever everybody else sat down after the drum solo was done and, and everybody was giving Adam a standing ovation, everybody sat down and he was just looking at me, he's just still standing up. He's like, I'm feeling this. So much so that his wife had to go, honey, sit down. You don't uh, have a pacemaker or anything, do you? We don't have the insurance for this one. Here you go. I hope everything works out alright. Give it up for this guy. Now, a couple things have come to my attention since last set. Uh, first of all, there's a piece of paper <laughs> sitting by our set list that has a song request on it. <laughs> sort of. And I don't know if you just thought this would blend in and we would just do this song. <laughs> There's a couple reasons we're not gonna do it. First of all, because she requested all about that bass. Don't get me wrong, we love that song. But this one ends with B A S E. Music is dead to me. I know. That's the problem with all these smartphones and autocorrect. You don't have to know how to spell anything anymore. And I will be honest and say, I'm definitely that person. <laughs> what bass did you think we were all about? <laughs> think about it. Sad that you didn't get a copy of the set list. Um, and if, if after the show, feel free to wander up and take a copy of the sign that says "No drinks on the subwoofer." Those are free. But what we didn't put was no spare earplugs on the subwoofer. What's funny is that there's two. 
two rappers with some spare ear open earplugs and two empty seats right there. <laughs> I guess they had a more sensitive pacemaker than that guy.
We're known for an exceptional auto claims experience. Not gimmicks.